And we're back with another episode of Tabletop That. And today, we're looking at these. Impress Art Premium Prime Copper Little Plate Things. Pick these up at Walmart. About five bucks. And uh, I'm going to make a brazier. Brazier? Is that how you say that? Brazier. You know the thing that has, you know, coal in it that burns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the snot out of this thing on a little jeweler's anvil. And beat it into the shape of the tip of this hammer. Giving it a nice bowl shape. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do two of them. I'll let you see what it looks like. Once we get done beating this. Oh man, listen to this. Now listen to this. Yeah, yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like fingers across a chalkboard. It's, it's just, just, just. Ah, full. Ah. I, I don't know about you, but I, I just can't stand it. But uh, I'm a little bit of a masochist too, because I can't listen to this next one too. Yeah, yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah. No, no, no. And, ah. Oh well, back to it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut out a base for these things. And uh, well, I already cut out the first one. Might as well use it to help me measure the next one. There we go. I'm gonna score the bottom one a little bit, and I'm gonna cut through it. Got a knife through butter. Uh, okay, well, my, my, my blade's a little dull, so it's going to be more like three or four passes before I get through this. And there we go. Yeah, two of them. And there is our little braziers, our little bowls that are going to sit on top. Let's see if it's going to be the right size for the battery. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are these even? I'm not sure if these things are even. Looking at them, they're not even. Well, you know, not really. I usually do these things fast, so I don't really pay attention to how even they are. Look at that, I mean, that's, that's still not even. Just, yeah, that's yeah, all right, it, close enough. Guys don't even pay attention to what's on the table most of the time when we're playing games. So here we go, perfect size. Now I get my little knife because I'm going to carve. Wait, wait. I probably should mark out what I'm going to cut out. So let's let's get the pencil. Uh, we're going to mark it out. Uh, outline it and then we'll know how much we need to cut out. There we go. All right. Come on. Get on with it. Stop looking at it. Yes, I know. It's a circle. Okay. Uh, get my knife. Little exacto knife, and we're gonna cut. Let's score. What on earth is that? Look at that. It's tearing it. It's not cutting it. This is the dullest blade I've ever put on this thing. All right. Uh, let's go get another blade and put it on. Careful, careful. Don't cut yourself. And put those away. Put those away. There you go. Put it on there. We tighten it up. And back to it. Look at that. Nice clean lines. Cutting it nice and fast. And get this little tool. Now this whole project was inspired by another channel called Tabletop Witchcraft. It is a fantastic channel. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite channel right now. Um, he just does such good work and has great ideas. And... Um, I've seen other people do similar stuff, uh, but just the way he puts these videos together, it's fantastic. So that's where my battery's going to go for the light that I'm going to use to simulate the fire. Now, all of the pieces that I use in this, um, at least the light and bulb and stuff. Here, I'm going to Mod Podge. But anyway, uh, the light and stuff. Ah, I got it on my hands. Ah, okay. Just do it. Get through it. Okay, so all of the stuff like the light and the battery and that kind of stuff, you can go over to Tabletop Witchcraft. I'm going to link an episode down below and pick up stuff through his channel. Help support him. I don't have affiliates right now, so 
Might as well help somebody out. And here we go. This is the same thing that he does. Now, he... Over at Tabletop Witchcraft. I keep saving... He's not paying me for this. I just like his stuff. Yeah, so... He uses, like, a professional tool. I'm using a match because I'm dangerous. Check this out. And I'm just, uh... Shrinking that rubber onto the lead. And uh, be careful not to burn yourself because, uh, ah, it's easy to do. It's a little warm afterwards, so don't do what I'm doing. Unless you've already destroyed your nerve endings. Now we're just going to put it through the hole here. Wiggle it back and forth. There we go. Maybe I made the hole too small. Nah. You just got to be rough with it. Pull it out. There you go. Okay, I think it's through. That looks good. I think it looks good. Now, I wonder if it works. I mean, I've been pretty rough with it. Let me get a battery here. Ha ha! Success! Fantastic. Now, with that out of the way, we can move on to the next part. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to get some super glue and put it down at the bottom of the bowl. And I got these little pebbles I found uh, from some construction sand. It's made up of sand and these little pebbles. And I picked out the smaller ones. And I'm just going to glue them into the bottom of the pan here. And that's going to act as our charcoal. And a little bit more glue there using my knife. I'm going to have to put another blade on that knife. That's probably the reason why my knives get dual so quick. I'm just putting like super glue on the end of them. Oh, turn the battery around, dummy. There you go. Still lighting up. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to look pretty cool, I think. Here, I'm going to set that off to the side. Now, back to the bases. Using my normal color scheme, I'm going to do a dark gray base. And this is taking too long, so let's speed it up. And zip around there, and zip around there, and zip around there. Where's your pick glove? Ah, here we go, another one. And we'll let those dry. Back to our braziers. Why is that such a weird word? I'm going to prime it. I'm using this Vallejo uh, gray primer. You'll see it in a lot of my other uh, videos. I really like it because it's uh, it just works. Uh, it's meant for an airbrush, I think, but it's thick enough you can put it on. Uh, things like this. Then I'm going to go and get some black paint. And uh, the black paint's going to represent the coals on the outside edges, not the ones that are super hot. And I'll just paint the edge of the rocks on the outer edge there black. Then I'm going to come back in with a red. And I'm going to mix it a little bit with some orange here and there. And just basically do the next layer of red and orange. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, and then last, I'm going to go to the yellow. And that's just going to be this little flame. It's basically the top of the LED. I think I put a little hot glue on there to give it like the look of a flame, but really these are coals. They generally don't flame up too much, I don't think. Well, maybe some. There we go. Do a little blending. And I think that's probably good enough. Now back to our bases. They've dried, and I'm going to do a dry brush. Uh, apparently I'm going to do a pretty heavy dry brush. Probably should have gotten a little lighter on that. Here's a better picture of it. Let's see what I'm doing here. This is the second dry brushing. I, I got like a lighter um, white and dry brush just the edges for the most part. Or maybe more than the edges apparently. Either way, a black wash would get rid of a lot of that if you, if you use a black wash. I think I did that, you know, after I finished the video, but... 
go. We got a sentinel on the top there. Not bad. Get through. The next step is going to be bending these wires around so they'll hold a battery. Let's see, there's our battery. Yep, it still works. Bending the wires to make it hold. And eventually I do get it. Yeah, more or less. And with a little bit more bending and stuff, I get it. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you found this video useful, and if not useful, at least entertaining. Please drop a comment or questions down below. I love hearing from other crafters. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and subscribe if you like the content. Until next time, have fun and keep crafting.